everybody, John Henderson here, the Beer Ramble once again, back another beer edition, trying to keep these things as frequent as possible, try, not the best of days to do it, um, some news I heard today, but that's another topic for another day, anyway, today we'll look at something that might cheer parents up, Rogue Hot Tub Scholarship Logger. If your kids in school, raise money for your college students, and they're sitting in the hot tub drinking beer, then there's a problem. A cute, clever name by our friends at Rogue Brewery, based in Newport, Oregon, which is right outside of the city of Portland. Trailblazers, Nike, all that good stuff. 5.4 ABV by volume. Excuse me, 5.4 ABV meaning alcohol by volume. Why well, I keep doing that all the time? Just the slip of the tongue. Anyway, 3.65, 69, excuse me, out of five on Beer Advocate. Also gets a good score on Ray Beer, a Munich Hell's Lager style beer. I've had two beers of the night. It's going to be my last one. Rogue, of course, the famous for the Dead Guy Ale and a few other beers that they put out. But that's probably one of their more famous, well-known beers. As you can see, my glass is a little cold, a little frosty, a little bit out. Had in the refrigerator. Citrusy, a little lemony. Nice little top. Not bad. Definitely some lemon. Definitely some grass notes into this beer. Most unique waters that I sent with the last food that I did with the uh, landmark. Vintage Lager by Milkwood Brewery, which is in Nolensville, Tennessee, which is right outside the city of Nashville. This definitely has that scent. Has that aroma. Smells good. Looks good. Five point four and pretty light, pretty easy drinking for a lager. Yeah, this would probably be a good this this is going out really easy, very refreshing. I'm getting some citrus in this flavor of this beer. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely some citrus. Lemon. It's a little. Maybe some wheat in this beer. This thing doesn't really give it much of a doesn't really give much of you know info on this beer. It says something a little note on the back of the can about you know dedicated to our original Rogue Brewery, and that is really about it, and not much else on this. And I don't really see anything else on this. Uh, maybe this can give me some info on what it says. Yeah, supporting some scholarship fund. All right. 
right. Anyway, not much really else. But again, if you want to look at Minichella style, you know, like the uh, Spartan Munich Muncher, the all causes the landmark that I had by Mill Creek Brewery, and this probably would be my reminder of this. But those seem to have a little more flavor to it. This is more of a regular lager. I don't know. I'm not really getting much. Again, again, some citrus in this. Lemon. Some not much sweetness to it. But again, it's, it's a style that you can say refreshing going down easy on a summer day. And I think it's probably more of a summer beer than anything. You know, so um, as I've told you, Rogue Dead Guy Ale, that's one of their preeminent pre beers that they do. And we've gotten a lot of their stuff here over the last six or seven years here in the in this part of the country, in the southeast. And I'm sure up in the northeast as well, they've probably gotten a lot of their stuff as well. But this is probably the closest reminder of beer that I've had from them. and. Um, stuff that we've gotten from them uh, in this area uh, or in this region um, I haven't I think I did do the dead guy ale for a review with a group of guys um, but I'm trying to remember right now if that happened probably did and we do a lot of beer reviews so um, yeah I mean I mean this is all right I mean I'm not gonna go gaga over it I think this is good about, about a Eight 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 point seven for me that would be what a B plus going going towards an A for me on this beer so B plus A minus I haven't tried a lot of rogue stuff but you know Munich stuff but again the Spotten I tried with I probably would, of the three that I've had I think that probably really stands out between this one and the Mill Creek Landmark Vintage Ale of the Munich Hell Hellas Lager. I would say those those would stand out more. The Spotten was a little more um, had a little more character to it than than this. I mean, this is to me could be a Pilsner. Reminds me of it, but it's not obviously. So again, refreshing, easy drinking, nothing bad about it. Just a a good lager. So I'm gonna leave it right there. I ain't gonna go overboard on this as saying the greatest thing. But again, folks, if you're doing this, pay your tuition. I know because I got students off the ass right now and I have not paid them off. And I'm gonna be paying them off until I'm old, old, old. Well, that's just the way it is. Anyway, yeah, student loans are not a good debt, despite what people tell you. It's not. So off that topic. Yes, the world's a good dad. It is, you know, it helps you. Like, yeah, whatever, you know. Anyway, John Anderson Pierre, the beer ramble, eight point seven, B plus, A minus on this beer in that range. So eight point seven score for me. John Anderson Pierre, keep on watching as always. Cheers, Rogue Hot Tub Time Machine, maybe.